This letter. Pure Vanilla Cookie must have sent it after he left for Beast Yeast. There are countless rumors about that place. I wonder what he has seen there. My dear friend, I hope this frantically written letter reaches you as soon as possible. Please forgive me for any incoherence, for there is simply so much I have to tell you about. I can't believe I'm actually writing this, but I met White Lily Cookie here. Luckily, enough of the light of freedom remain for White Lily Cookie to return to her true self. I wish this message only had good news, however. Dark Cacao Cookie. Ancient demons called Beast Cookies roam these lands. We were all shocked to learn that these Beast Cookies were the first owners of the Soul Jam. I know it's hard to believe, but it seems that our Soul Jams are connected to the power of these Beast Cookies. Now that they have awoken, they will attack us to reclaim their lost Soul Jams. Dark Enchantress Cookie plans to use this to her advantage to start another war. Dark Cacao Cookie, at this rate, our Soul Jams, our kingdom, even our beloved friends will all be in great danger. Who dares threaten the great Dark Cacao Kingdom? And worse, who dares lay a hand on my almighty Choco Blade once again? Since the Kingdom's foundation, I have defeated countless foes who have come seeking my power from far and wide. I even crossed blades with Dark Choco Cookie to protect my sword. My very own son. Your Majesty, I have an urgent message to relay. Legions of cake monsters have been spotted on the outskirts of the kingdom. The unnamed tower built by those monsters is close to reaching the sky. This cannot be. We must prepare for battle at once. Round up the soldiers. Yes, Your Majesty. First beast yeast, now a tower built by cake monsters. Is that wind chimes that I hear? Seems like another cold spell will soon reach the Dark Cacao Kingdom. New patients have arrived! Their dough is turning white and they're coughing up flour. <laughs> <laughs> Where should we put the patients? There are no more beds available. We're at full capacity. You're still decocting more medicine, right? Yes, we're running low on herbs. I'm making the medicine as quickly as possible, but I can't keep up with the number of patients coming in. Oh, is our kingdom doomed? How could this have happened? What's the status of the treatments? Caramel Arrow Cookie. We're doing the best we can, but the pale ailment is simply spreading too fast. The cookies are turning more pale and sickly by the minute. I see it now. A world of pure white, soft, radiant, and breathtakingly beautiful. This is not our time. We must from which we once came. Is all this nonsense a symptom of the pale ailment as well? Yes, it would seem so. Most of it sounds like gibberish, but it all comes down to the same thing. That we must return to flower. But please, pay it no mind. Everyone is delirious with fever. They have no idea what they're saying. 
We warriors of the Dark Cacao Kingdom, who stand at the crossroads between life and death, have always worshipped the all-encompassing darkness of black. Seeing these cookies' dough turn white, and hearing them begging to return to flower is... bizarre, to say the least. I must inform His Majesty at once. No, Your Majesty! You mustn't! It's not safe, Your Majesty. What's all this noise? Uh, Your Majesty! How did you... Did you just come back from the mysterious tower? Are you unscathed? Yes. I managed to meet a cookie who calls herself the Lord of the Heavens. If that accounts for anything. But I see that a plague has taken over the kingdom while I was away. What is all this? No, Your Majesty, you mustn't enter! What if the patients infect you with their disease, or worse, madness? We must protect the royal dough, for it is our sworn duty! They may be ill, but they are still my subjects. Watching over the cookies of this kingdom is my sworn duty. Even so... Did you not care for and treat these patients, despite knowing you might become infected in the process. What I am doing is no different. As expected of his royal majesty, he cherishes his kingdom and subjects above all else. Are you certain that this is due to the flower storm that has blown over from beast yeast? Yes, your majesty. A, a few days ago, a fine white mist enveloped the entirety of the kingdom. Soon after, we started getting patience, the white spreading from the tips of their dough. <coughs> and, as you can see, Your Majesty, they're coughing up flour as well. This is indeed flour. But how? Just let the flower take over. I just want it to be over. <coughs> so powdery. <coughs> Please, make it stop. <coughs> Excuse me. Please, Your Majesty. Don't get too close to the patients. It is fine. Worry not. I must hear what this fellow is saying. Your Majesty, Dark Cacao Cookie. <coughs> All this time we've worn. Black clothes, eaten black foods, and been surrounded by black walls. This kingdom of ours is so cold, barren, and draining. But I have found a way out of this suffering. Tell me the way, then. We must become flower once more, Your Majesty. The white radiance is free and light. It will liberate us. I shall return to flower. Free me from this painfully stiff dough. <laughs> Please, this patient needs rest. The situation is more dire than I thought. To think they want to return to flower. It is almost blasphemous. To think that the storm from Beast Yeast has caused such a devastating plague. Beast Yeast? What in Cacao's name is happening there? It's been hours since His Majesty excused himself. I wonder what he's thinking. Of course, I will follow his lead no matter what he chooses. Warriors! I ask for you to watch over the kingdom in my absence. I am leaving for Beast Yeast. Huh? But, Your Majesty! I sense that a force lurking in Beast Yeast is targeting me. Someone who plans on stealing my sword, to be exact. This unknown entity has infected my subjects with this terrible ailment in pursuit of seizing my sword. Truly, a cruel and malicious deed. 
Instead of allowing this malevolent force to wreak havoc upon my kingdom, I shall journey to Beast Yeast and eradicate the source of this problem. If I leave, this flower storm will soon die down as well. That is right. As long as I leave. Your Majesty, you mustn't go on your own. Please, let me protect you and the kingdom. I shall join you as well. I'm more than happy to join if I can be of help. Me too, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, we you cannot yes. go alone. Please, Please, Your Majesty, take me. Let, let me go with you. I will protect you. Please. To think that there are so many of you willing to risk your life for me. As expected of my dark cacao warriors. I request His Majesty's counsel. We need cookies to guard the kingdom while you're away. Commander, you stay here. You must protect the wall. No, I must follow and protect His Majesty. His Majesty is entrusting the safety of the kingdom to you because of your excellent skills and outstanding spirit. My spirit is outstanding? Really? My king, the only way to beast yeast is by crossing the licorice sea. Yes, but how? Long, long ago, a vessel was built specifically to cross those dark waters. Its hull reinforced with hard cacao bean shells. For some unknown reason, the licorice sea waters have been calmer lately. As such, I recommend using this ship in your crossing. Your Majesty, navigation will be of the utmost importance on this journey. As you follow the coastline, turn starboard at the large boulders. After that, you must ride the wind southeast. Continue sailing onwards until you encounter a large whirlpool. Then turn port side when you see white foam. Remember to avoid the areas marked red on the map at all costs. Sail onwards, and you will soon make landfall on the continent of Beast Yeast. And please, take this with you. It's a cacao tablet made by the healer cookies. Eat it when the fog gets too thick, and you'll come right back to your senses. I thank you for your care. Now then, we must take our leave. What was that noise? Sorry I'm late. I had to gather the pack. Your Majesty, I shall join you. Just as I have protected the rough and dangerous borders of the kingdom, I shall stand by your side, Your Majesty. Crunchy chip cookie. Shouldn't you be in the mountains? The kingdom is in grave danger, and you expect me to stand idly by? If there's anyone who dares attack our king and beast yeast, my cream wolves will be ready to attack. Very well. My valiant warriors, infused with the essence of bitter cacao within your doze, swear on the very edge of my sword. Yes, Your, your Majesty! Majesty! Remember this land where the black and white dragons fought. Remember the giant wall that protected us from the endless stream of beasts and monsters from the licorice sea. Now, we will become the wall that protects this world. Even if what awaits us is but an endless abyss, I shall lead the way with my sword in hand. Dark Cacao Warriors, heed my call! to Beast Yeast. But isn't it strange? I've never seen the licorice sea so calm. I barely felt a whisper of a breeze. Right? It almost felt like someone was watching over us. 
crunchy chip cookie? What are you doing? <sighs> there were a bunch of licorice monsters lurking in the depths of the water. All curled up and motionless, yet their eyes remained unblinking and alert. And some of them looked right up at me! Are you afraid? This is merely the beginning of our journey, you know. What? No! I'm not scared! It was just kind of creepy, that's all! <laughs> if you say so. You laughing? No, no, of course not. Mm, that scent of raw flour in the air. The flower fog is thick in this area. Uh, won't we be infected with the pale ailment if we come in contact with the fog? If we were scared about that, we wouldn't have come here in the first place. Mm. Let us share this cacao tablet. Our heads must remain clear, even in the fog. Oh, um, um. <laughs> oh so bitter! <laughs> what on earth bread is this made of? Not even the cacao nibs I first ate as a child were this bad. Ooh. I suppose they made it super bitter, so that we'd come to our senses. Ew. Mmm, that was good. You're all so weak. Your Majesty, up ahead. The white fog is coming right at us like a huge wave. We will get swallowed up by the fog at this rate. Everyone, stay alert and do not lose your way. Do not worry, Your Majesty. It's nothing my instincts can't guide me through. Just follow me. My senses are as good as the cream wolves themselves. Crunchy chip cookie? Where are you? Crunchy chip cookie, answer me! <sighs> you were so confident just a moment ago. Where is everyone? Uh, I can't see a thing. Uh, Your Majesty, over here! Caramel arrow cookie, are you nearby? Caramel Arrow Cookie! Dark Cacao Warriors, answer me! It can't be. I have lost sight of everyone already. This dense fog. Cover my eyes no more! I shall blow it all away with a slash of my sword. <laughs> Spoils. No one here! If you can hear me, answer! 
Is there really no one here? Aha! Uh -huh. Fresh cookie tracks. Who goes there? Face my sword! Ah! They read the movement of my sword! What skill! Your Majesty! It's me, Caramel Arrow Cookie! There he is! Look! We found His Majesty! What a relief that we found each other again. Ah, this fog is obscuring my vision. I cannot see a thing! Caramel Arrow Cookie! Yes, Your Majesty! Forever loyal to the King, it is I, Caramel Arrow Cookie! Crunchy Chip Cookie! Yes, Your Majesty! I am Crunchy Chip Cookie, His Majesty's proud warrior! And my Dark Cacao Warriors! Yes, Your Majesty! Glory to the Dark Cacao Kingdom! And what of the rest? We have lost track of the other warriors, Your Majesty. We are the only ones left. We faced a big setback so soon! The thick fog all but swallowed up our dark cacao warriors! They will be close by, so do not worry. We will find them once the fog settles. There must be someone who controls this fog. We must find them. ventured a considerable distance. There's 
something up ahead. It almost smells like... incense? That pointy roof... Oh, it's a massive temple! A temple in perfect condition, amidst the wilderness of beast yeast. How peculiar. It must be a trap of some sort. A temple of this size must have been built by someone. I must meet whoever this is. What was that? I am the meat doubling king of the East. I bless good cookies and punish the bad. I am the shrimp doubling king of the West. My breath becomes the wind and blows away all evil spirits. I am the spicy doubling king of the South. My armor is impenetrable, and I bring all things to life. I am the Chimes Dumpling King of the North. I become a light for cookies wandering in the dark. Move out of my way. There is someone we must meet inside the temple. Ha ha ha! How dare you attempt to enter the temple! Well, so tainted with convictions of the beyond. Far I have seen, but never one with such a heavy heart. If you wish to enter, you must first wash yourself clean of all worldly concerns. Put aside the anguish that troubles your mind. I have no time for idle chatter. If you insist on standing in my way, meet my sword. <laughs> Five measly cookies face the four dumpling kings. Will you succeed in passing the heavenly gate, I wonder? Do your best. Well then, I will. Your Majesty, why do you hesitate? My sword, it's shaking. What's happening? This is a first. My sword has never felt so foreign. Is something wrong, Your Majesty? No, no. I was simply preparing by getting a better grip on my sword. Everyone, prepare your weapons. Let us defeat the four Dumpling Kings! Yes, Your Majesty! It wasn't easy to get to the entrance of the temple. It doesn't feel real. To see a temple where we thought nothing would be. It feels like we're in a dream. The air is so humid. Ah, did we all come here to stand around and wonder? Hello? Anyone here? 
Cream Wolf! Over there! Go! Shh! Crunchy Chip Cookie, silence your wolves! There's no need to cause a fuss, is there? Did I not tell you? Our squadron sends out wolves first for reconnaissance! No, you didn't tell me! Well, now you know! Cream Wolves! Over there! Dig if you have to! <laughs> Shh! I hear something over there. Let us approach. Back in the day, cookies would line up for miles just to see my master. But now, well, there's not a single cookie here. Oh well, I'll just keep myself entertained. <laughs> you, who are you? Ah! What are you doing pointing your sword at me? Uh... How about an arrow then? Yeah! Is this how you cookies usually greet others? Well, I've done nothing wrong. I am but a little Hete, who has watched over this place for ages. Hete! That's right! I'm Cloud Hete Cookie, faithfully following the orders of my honorable master. So, what do you think? This is the Ivory Pagoda, a temple once revered by many. You said you had a master. Take us to them at once. Excuse me? Put your sword away first. Stop beating around the bush and take us to your master! Hm. I'm a Hete from a fine lineage, I'll have you know! But fine. I'll take you to see my master at the Grand Temple immediately! I'll lead the way. Just follow me! Should we really just go with them? Hey, you're too cautious! It's all about trusting your gut with these things. I just follow my instincts. And that's never done me wrong. Says the one who got lost in the fog first. I promise I am quite useful myself. When the flower fog is so thick that you can't spot your enemies, I can help you land your attacks. And it's quite nice to talk to someone after so long, too. Do you all like to chat? There is no such cookie among us. Very well. Then listen to me as we go. I promise it'll be fun. Pray tell, what is the name of your master? Oh, you're one curious cookie, aren't you? My master? She's the one named Mystic Flower Cookie. And when was your master baked? I mean, how long has she existed on this land? No one knows, my lord. That's how long it's been. Back when the land was completely barren, she welcomed any cookie with the will to go on living. She fought to provide a better life for those cookies. It's said that the cookies that were blessed by Mystic Flower Cookie's grace slowly became able to channel her power themselves. That is why the line of cookies that worshipped Mystic Flower Cookie used to reach way beyond the Heavenly Gate. They were lining up for Mystic Flower Cookie to acknowledge and grant their wishes, you see. 
Could Mystic Flower Cookie be one of the Beast Cookies? She seems much too kind for that. But all of a sudden, even more cookies started showing up. Please grant my wish. Please save me, they'd say. Oh, eventually it all became too much for her. She became the leavened one, wrapping herself in a cocoon and focusing on her powers so that she may benefit all cookies and grant their every wish. What? She wrapped herself in a cocoon? Sounds kind of creepy. And what happens to this cocoon? Follow me, and you shall learn the truth, my lord. Now then, let's keep going. Now, about my promised treasure. tell you that. Climbing a mountain is a piece of cake for a cookie like me. Quiet. Everyone must be hungry. I have something warm and delicious we can share. What's that white thing? I asked what Cloud Hete cookie is holding. You just told me to be quiet! These are freshly steamed white buns. The flavor is mild, yet tasty. I'm sure you'll all love it. Your Majesty, let me take the first bite. We do not know if that Hate creature has poisoned the food. Hey, why would you doubt me like that? Um. Oh, it's good. Don't eat the whole thing. You just said you'd take the first bite because you were hungry, huh? Give it to me. I want some too. Oh my, to think that honorable knights of the Dark Cacao Kingdom are tempted so easily. Crunchy Chip Cookie, you should try some too. Oh, I've never had something so warm and fluffy. Mm. Hmm. I'm a cookie who's tried the gourmet food of the Krim Republic, you know. Uh, I mean, your majesty. I can't be tempted with delicious food. I'll starve if I must. Do not worry. Feel free to eat. Your Majesty, you should try some too. We have no idea what awaits us in this giant temple after all. No, I shall pass. How can we eat when His Majesty refuses to? I just have some thinking to do, that is all. Do not let it bother you. Since I'm full now, let me show you one of my tricks. Look, I can transform! Ta-da! What do you think? Wow, that's amazing! Whee! Watch me 
summer salt. <laughs> what? Irresistible puppy eyes. Dream Wolves, what's the matter? Are you doing tricks too now? Oh, it's on. This one's a showstopper. Standing on my hind legs. <laughs> Give me a treat, please. Oh, how adorable. I'd give you a treat right away, but I don't have any. What about these dried cacao nibs? No one wants those besides us. <laughs> Seems like everyone has calmed down for now. Although, I am not sure if that is a good thing. But as for my sword, my soul jam is definitely behaving differently than usual. My sword is trembling, as if it is anxious somehow. I wonder if it is a trick played by the beast that lurks here. Or have I grown weaker ever since we arrived in Beast Yeast? But why? My will to protect my sword is as strong as ever. Ah. My icing stings. Maybe it is the white fog that is clouding my mind and sight. large stone statue? Mystic Flower Cookie's followers erected this statue for the day she would emerge from her cocoon. This Mystic Flower Cookie must have done a lot of good in her previous life. A statue this big must have required the strength of many cookies to make. Oh, wouldn't the world be happier with only cookies that are nice? But as you know, my lord, the world isn't always that happy and peaceful. All cookies have their own burdens and problems. And sometimes that results in selfishness, envy, and even obsession. Many cookies came to have their wishes heard, even after Mystic Flower Cookie started pursuing enlightenment inside her cocoon. When their wishes weren't immediately granted, some angry cookies tried to invade and take over the temple. Every time, I curled up and watched them from underneath the stairs. Their eyes were glowing, ablaze with hatred. So I ask, my lord, do you have a wish of your own? A wish? I do. A rather simple one. My only wish is to continue protecting the Dark Cacao Kingdom. I have cut down countless foes and crises with my trusted sword. All to protect the Dark Cacao Kingdom and my loyal subjects. I cannot imagine a future for the Dark Cacao Kingdom without my sword. 
All I wish is that I may spend my time defending my kingdom, protecting it, no matter the disasters we face. My lord, I must say, you strike me as a cookie of... resolution, should I say? Oh, how would you know that? Hey, even a freshly baked head day can pick up on that after a few years here at the temple. And I've been here for ages. But I have to admit, I'm curious about the ending to your story. Who knows, though? Perhaps your greatest strength will become your weakness. What? Nothing, my lord. We're almost at the Grand Temple. Let's hurry. Treasure. Vision is turning blurry again. The fog is getting thicker. <clears throat> I can't get used to the smell of flour. <clears throat> Why are you coughing? Surely it isn't the pale ailment. What? No! The fine flour particles just went up my nose, that's all. Have we had noses this whole time? Is it fine to go on? Cloud Hete Cookie? Is this really the right way to the Grand Temple? Of course, of course! The temple is my home! I can find my way blindfolded! This Hete, wow. they're getting awfully comfortable with us. Wow. Come to think of it, what was the creature doing before we met? They said they were just playing around all alone at the temple. Beast yeast is full of danger, but they were just playing around? Wow. Is that even possible? Come on now, mind the <laughs> Your Majesty? Everyone. Ready your weapons. We are not far from our destination. Once we arrive, all secrets will be revealed. So focus and climb those stairs. Yes, Your Majesty!
my youth. other than the Grand Temple, the biggest and most magnificent temple on Earthbred. Its proper name is the Temple of Hollow Tears, but we just call it the Grand Temple. Hollow Tears? What a peculiar name for a temple. The fog is still too thick for me to see it properly, but there's something white hanging in the air something white wait isn't that cocoon does this mean the cocoon has remained unharmed this whole time with mystic flower cookies still inside indeed my lord eons have passed since mystic flower cookie entered the cocoon even as she confined herself to this shell all she wished was for everyone to live happily and free from pain. How does it feel, my lord, to witness her most desperate wish? <sighs> the fog is thickening again. The sublime will to keep herself enclosed in this cocoon to save cookies from their suffering. How does your resolution compare to hers, my lord? Wait, the fog! The legend says that Mystic Flower Cookie's precious resolution has been split in two. Do you not believe that it is right for the stronger of the two halves to take ownership of it? Distant voice, the vertigo! The thickening fog. Who's responsible for these tricks? Cloud Hete Cookie, is it you? Or the work of a beast? La, 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 la. Answer my question first, my lord. <laughs> it's flower. You coughed a flower! It's the pale ailment! What? Me? No. No! It can't be! I don't want to be sick! Please help me! Your Majesty! We've traveled together this whole time. Will we be safe from the sickness? I refuse to take part in your foolish games any longer. Even if this cocoon was made to save all the cookies in the world, I no longer care. It has become clear that it was Mystic Flower Cookie who struck my kingdom with the pale ailment. I will cut down any danger to my kingdom with no hesitation. I will not waste my opportunity to eliminate this threat that lies in front of me! You're no different than the others. The ones who wanted to hurt the cocoon to satisfy their own selfish greed. What did you just say? of the Ivory Pagoda speak to you. What? What? Where's that voice coming from? There's nothing inside the cocoon! Born in the first land, I was baked with the power of ancient magic.
It is my purpose to protect cookies with my unwavering willpower and lead them to paradise. I enclosed myself in a cocoon for the sake of my followers. And yet the world seen from inside the cocoon was far from pure. Cookies putting their own greed first, pushing and shoving to have their own wish fulfilled before anyone else. Witnessing this, my heart grew forlorn and empty. At first, I believed this emptiness would crumble my dough, but my cocoon remained strong and intact throughout the ages. Time comes and goes as cookies are baked and crumble once again. But I learned how to overcome time itself simply by being me. Just as I was one step away from becoming the leavened one, Someone spread a false rumor that my cocoon was full of treasures. The cocoon was cut open with one slash of a sword. Fake, immortal, they said. Just like you. Mystic flower cookie. You. You beast. What do you think of my story? Does it not make you feel like everything is futile? No matter how strong your resolve is, no matter how hard you try, this world will never change. Everything will be in vain and turn to hollow tears. I, Mystic Flower Cookie, shall tell you the truth. A world in which individual desires exist will never be an ideal world. The one who covets the grass will soon wish for a whole forest. The one who seeks out a cave to escape the rain will soon wish for a big house with a roof. There is no guarantee that even your most basic wishes will ever be granted. The wish to protect your kingdom, your subjects, both are ultimately useless causes that will do no more than inflict endless pain. You must free yourself from worldly affairs and anguish Throw away all that you know to achieve true enlightenment. Oh no. Look! Your dough! It's turning white! Ah! Save me! I didn't think I would actually be infected! I don't want to crumble here! You who arduously carried the burden of your king. Do not forget the reason you were born. Return to flower. Set yourself free from the fear and pain of the perpetual cycle of being baked and crumbled. You dare use your sly tricks on my subjects! Do not think for a second that we will fall for your flowery tricks. For they are nothing but white dust, standing against our firm determination. May my razor-sharp and unwavering resolution punish you! Resolution. Fraying, worthless conviction. Is that the resolution you speak of?
my once strong conviction, was split into apathy and resolution. The true owner of your resolution is none other than me. May the curse of the Ivory Pagoda befall all who fail to recognize this truth. Your Majesty, the thing that was inside the cocoon was a huge spider! Oh, crumbs. It was a trick after all. Look out! The thing is coming right at us! I shall fight by your side, Your Majesty. I will do all to make sure this battle won't be in vain. Very well. Soldiers, attack! Those who have yet to experience true futility, soon it shall permeate your heart, seeping in like mist. And then, your resolution too shall fade to white. My sword. The shaking has gotten worse. Is it the sword that is shaking? Or is it... me? What is the meaning of this? This place, everything is turning into flour! Y your Majesty, this place isn't the only thing that's disintegrating. Look at us! Have we finally caught the pale ailment? No. The world of fantasy Mystic Flower Cookie has created. It's disintegrating. And us along with it! Mystic Flower Cookie! I command you to turn my subjects back to normal at once! I could have come alone, but these cookies followed to protect me! Is it not my sword you seek? Then fight me, now! Your Majesty... It's alright. I feel peace at last. I can barely even remember risking my life to protect the wall. The wall. That's right. I spent all my life protecting the wall. Did I even have any wishes of my own? No. I've lived my whole life without a single wish. I think I understand what true futility is. Crunchy Chip Cookie, take my hand! Uh, got it! I got your hand! Huh? No! My hand! It's turned to flour already! Crunchy Chip Cookie! Disappearing? Just like that? Leaving the mountains unprotected? If so, does that mean I'll no longer have to watch my cream wolves fall? Your... Your Majesty. I don't think I can hold on any longer. I am sorry that I have failed to remain by your side until the end. Please forgive me for leaving before fulfilling my duties, Your Majesty. Caramel Arrow Cookie. No! But how come? I suddenly feel at peace, knowing I no longer have anything to protect. Your Majesty, I wish you could see this endless world of white as well. No! Caramel Arrow Cookie, don't go! This is all a lie. You are all falling victim to Mystic Flower Cookie's foul tricks. Come back immediately. Please! <laughs> and so, one cookie remains.
A cookie who still believes in ideals of a bygone era. So full of resolution. Shoo. Cloud Hete Cookie. Was this your plan from the beginning? I will not let you get away with this. Just wait till I get my own two hands on you! Ooh, scary. <laughs> Alas, looks like that won't be possible, my lord. After all, I'm returning to flower as we speak. Let me give you one piece of advice. I hope that you'll be liberated from that heavy burden you carry on your shoulders. May you too finally come to recognize the sweet taste of oblivion. No! Caramel arrow cookie. Crunchy chip cookie. My warriors!